Hey everyone, I am here today to talk to you about securing your wig. Um, I have done videos on this topic in the past. I have demonstrated how to use tape to secure your wig. I've also demonstrated how to use its stays, the roll-on adhesive to secure your wig. But I thought I've learned some new things and so I thought I'd come on here and share with you something that I've learned and just kind of refresh this topic. So before I go too far, I want to tell you that I am wearing uh, Raquel Welch crowd pleaser in the color shaded cappuccino and I can't remember the color code for it so I'll make sure it's in the description but this color is amazing I have not reviewed this color I have reviewed crowd pleaser um, and actually I uh, had sold that crowd pleaser because I am not so sure the style is really for me it's got a lot of flippies um, but I received this actually from a wig sister who thought this color would be really good for me and oh my gosh I love this color I cannot wait to share Share a video on this color but that's not what this is all about and I think I might have my light a little too bright to really show you this color well anyway so all right what prompted me to make this video so it is July and it has been so hot here in Minnesota this summer I really think we're on track to have the hottest summer on record and it's been over 90 degrees many days mid 90s many days I know those of you in Arizona and in the south are probably just rolling your eyes but that's really hot and we do have actually um, quite a bit of humidity so it does really yesterday I think the heat index was 103 or 104 so it's been really warm and as some of you know who who have used its stays or who have researched it um, its stays does not work well when you're sweaty it's super water soluble so I'm just gonna show you what I mean this is an almost gone bottle of its days there are quite a few different brands of this on the market I have tried probably three different brands and I've been happy with them all and so what this is is it's just a roll-on adhesive it just has a roll it's a roller ball and you roll it on uh, I, I roll it on the right where the lace and, and my hairline meet. I'll kind of demonstrate that in a minute. And then I just put my wig on and then when it dries, the wig is adhered very well. Um, a benefit of it stays, a huge benefit, is how easy it is to remove. So all I do to take my wig off at the end of the day is I get a washcloth wet, not even sopping wet, just enough that I can squeeze just a little bit of water out of it, and then I just squeeze that washcloth along my hairline where I've, where I've put the it stays, and I let it sit. Sometimes 10 seconds is plenty. And then I start to lift my wig and if it sometimes it lifts super easy. Sometimes it's still stuck if I got a lot of it stays or maybe put some further back. So I just put a little bit more water on there and it comes off perfectly. And then all I have to do is gently dab at the lace if there's feels like there's any sticky still on it and it comes right off. Likewise, I just have to take a washcloth and kind of swipe at my hairline and it comes off. That's a huge benefit of it stays. But in order for that benefit to exist, <laughs> then you know it goes to say that you wouldn't really be able to use it stays in situations where you're gonna get really sweaty because it is super water soluble. And so I you know, have been looking for options for when I need to adhere a wig in the summer or when I'm going to be really hot and it stays isn't going to work because I'll tell you guys, you know, I've said this before, I run so hot all the time. I'm always so hot and sweaty and I'll be getting, I get home from work sometimes and if I don't take my wig off and I start to cook or I start to get ready for dinner, I always get really hot. At that point, I can pretty much take off my wig and it comes right off. I get just a little bit sweaty because I sweat a lot in my head too and it just loosens. Now, that's not really a problem on a daily basis. I'll give you an example. I um, had to give a talk at work. I had to speak in front of a group of people at a big meeting and I forgot my notes in my office which was two floors below where we were. And I ran to get my notes and I ran up and I kind of got sweaty in that whole commotion. And I know if I would have lifted my wig, it would have come right off. 
but I don't I didn't worry about it falling off or shifting because it's not like my wigs sit on my head so tightly that, that I feel like they're gonna slingshot off so for the most part it stays is fine um, but for those times when you want more security then it stays isn't going to be your go-to and so what other options do you have well I did a video uh, last year uh, using tape so this tape I got on Amazon, it's just lace front tape. I got it in a roll, um, but you can buy it in pre-cut strips as well. And so the blue tape, it's, the tape isn't blue, the sticky, the sticking is blue. Um, this is the, they always say the blue walker lace tape. So this is the kind that works really well on lace fronts. And so it's a super sticky double-sided tape. And so you'd put the tape on, you'd peel this blue backing off so the tape would be stuck to the wig, then you'd put it on and it would stick to your forehead. Um, it is super secure. So if you're going someplace and you're going to be getting soaking wet, um, you want to go to an amusement park, I mean, it's very secure. The trade-off there is that you need an adhesive remover to get it off. So alcohol um, is one thing you can use. I have found alcohol to be very difficult to use actually with it. You need quite a bit of it. Um, John Renault makes a lace let go spray and that works really pretty well. Um, and then there's other um, adhesive removers as well. So you do need a special product. Alcohol, like I said, has been said to work. I don't find it works as well as the lace let go. It's harder to use. Um, but anyway, so you need something special to remove it. But then you have some real security too. So again, everything we do is has trade-offs, pros and cons. And you just have to determine for the specific situation that you're dealing with, what are the pros, what are the cons, and, and can you work with those? Um, other options that are not quite as secure, but that work for a lot of women are wig grips. I have two different examples of wig grips here. I have, this one is a silicone wig grip with little nubs on it, and I have a review of this. It's called the Wig Fix, and it's really great. I mean, it works really, really well. Um, but there's, you know, cons to that as well. I tend to get really sweaty underneath it. Um, it is tight, but some of you that you really appreciate that, that helps with the feeling of security. A benefit of this is that if you have trouble with the wig riding up in the back, this really helps that a lot. I have not successfully used its stays on the nape of a wig, and some have, but I just really haven't. And I've kind of gotten over that feeling of wigs riding up. I really feel like they're gonna be fine on me, so I don't really deal with that as much anymore. Maybe it's just because I've gotten used to it. Um, and then you've got your velvet wig grips. And this is a very old one. And it's just velvet. This one I think is a M Milano wig grip. I think I got it. I might have gotten this one from a wig sister or on Amazon. I can't remember. But I really don't use wig grips. I don't like the extra bulk under my wigs. And But when I do use them, I usually wear them with headband wigs that I wear to the gym. So they can work really well. And some people feel wig grips are super, super secure. So a benefit to a wig grip is you're not using any product. It's reusable, <laughs> you know. Um, if you have sensitivity to product, you don't have to deal with that. So wig grips have a place. And, that, and so for you, I think all of these things, I have one more thing to show you guys, which I just tried. But for these things, it's all trial and error. You may just have to try a few things to figure out what works best for you. Okay, getting to the main reason I made this video, because I've kind of talked about this before, but I know I have a lot of new viewers and a lot of new wig wearers out there, so I felt like I had to give the context and sort of set the table for the next thing, which you know what I'm going to talk about because I put it in the title, but got to be. This stuff is all over the internet. People talk all the time about using got to be to adhere their wigs. So if you've watched any videos on adhering wigs, you've probably seen some about this. I had never tried it. I think when I first started wearing wigs, I tried the gel, not the spray. And I didn't find that it worked all that well. I went back to its stays and I've been, I mean, it stays is my go-to. I use it every single day to adhere my wigs, always. Um, and so I've always loved its days, but I hear so much about got to be that I decided I needed to try it for myself. So I just released a video on the headline it, um, wig liners, sweat wicking 
wig liners and I decided if I was gonna try those wig liners I was gonna also try got to be because if I'm gonna be wearing wig liners it means I'm getting hot and sweaty so I'm gonna need another option to adhere my wig and I don't like the tape option it's too cumbersome for me it's so sticky that sometimes it sticks to my fingers and I can't get it on the lace very well and um, it's so hard to remove and so I really don't like the tape if I have to use it I'll use it but I really don't prefer it and so I decided to try this and I love it got to be is now my go-to if I need more staying power than it stays will give me I am still gonna use it stays as my regular because it's too easy not to and works fine for most situations but when I need more security I am using got to be so let me show you how I apply these I'm not gonna actually do it I'm just gonna demonstrate it so first of all they apply very similarly this is just a little bit messier to use so when I'm putting on it stays I just take it and I roll it on my hairline. I get a little bit on my hairline and a little bit on my hair. I kind of put it right in this area. And I usually just kind of put it in the front here, but depending on what wig I have, depending on the lace on the wig, if I feel like I need to adhere it further over to the temples, you can certainly do that. And I usually just kind of go swipe maybe three times, three or four times. I don't, you know, I don't coat it on, I don't cake it on. and. I pretty much then just put the wig on immediately. I don't let it sit. I don't need to wait for it to somewhat dry or get tacky. I just roll it on and then I put my wig on. And it doesn't, it's not super, super sticky. And I, and again, I have a video on this that, that you feel like, oh my gosh, what if it touches it? Is it gonna be stuck right away? You have plenty of time to get the wig resituated. You know, you can lift it. You can do all of those things. It's all fine. Um, and then I just kind of press it in and I smooth it down and then I just, I'm good to go. It dries, you know, I, I don't keep testing it. Maybe five minutes, maybe less. It kind of depends on the day, if I'm already a little hot, if it's warm, if it's humid, all those things. But at some point, pretty quickly, it adheres and then I'm fine. Got to be is just a little bit more cumbersome. So it's a spray, it's, it's a hairspray actually. Basically, it's a spray hairspray and I just so it sprays out so I kind of have to be careful how I spray it um, you know I, I spray a little bit and then a little bit I don't hold it and spray because that would be too much and then I might use my fingers to smooth it in a little bit just to kind of keep it even and I just make sure I have a good coating of it and then I have to wait for it to start to dry and so what I have done is I have then stood in front of I have a fan in my bathroom because of course I'm always hot and I'll stand in front of the fan and I'll just sort of let that start to dry it you can use a hair dryer um, but again I'm already half the time super hot when I'm getting ready I don't need more hot so I usually don't use a hair dryer but I've seen people do that and then depending on kind of how I feel, what I'm gonna be doing, if I'm using this, it's because I want extra staying power, then I will probably do another layer of it and I'll do it again. And then I'll stand in front of the mirror and they say to wait till it gets tacky. I just kind of give it a minute, a couple of minutes. Um, you could do it and then finish putting your makeup on if you wanted to, I usually do it last. Um, because getting re I don't wanna put my wig on until I'm all done with my makeup anyway. So then I put my wig on like I would using the It Stays. I just put my wig on, I press it down, and then I might stand in front of the fan again just to let it blow on the hairline for a little bit just to make sure it's really starting to dry. And that's all I do. So it's a little bit more effort. It takes a little bit longer to be ready, whereas It Stays, I put it on, I put my wig on, I'm good. But I gotta tell you guys, it works so amazing. So I, like I said, I, I was testing it when I was using the headline it. The couple of times, the first few times I did it, I was out in places where I didn't feel comfortable testing if the wig was loosening because I was hot and sweaty, but I was out. And then by the time I got home, I'd already cooled off. And it stays, will re-adhere when I cool off. If, if it loosens because I get sweaty, if later on I cool down and I'm not sweaty anymore, it stays will stick again. And so that wasn't a good test. So I actually tested it on the 4th of July, 
we had family over for a barbecue so it's kind of in a safe place with that and I was miserable I was so hot it was 95 degrees it was dew point near 70 I mean it was just miserable I was really hot and I periodically pulled on the hairline it wasn't loosening now the flip side of that is it takes a little bit more effort to remove as well but you can still remove it with water which is good so I just really have to soak the hair the hairline to remove it so whereas it stays I just need just a little tiny bit of water and it's really pretty much able to be removed in 10 seconds I really had to like it water was running down my face I really had to squeeze a washcloth on the whole hairline and then I had to do it more than once I would try to lift it and I would feel that the wig was still sticking in some places so I would do that again so that's you know the trade-off you want stronger staying power you're gonna need to do more to get rid of it now it doesn't hurt the lace if you're really careful about removing I haven't had it stays ruin lace fronts on any wigs and so they also work on basic cap wigs um, I have read people say you can't use it stays with basic cap wigs I do it all the time it's never a problem so you can use it with both uh, just keep in mind you're gonna need a lot more water to remove it so Bottom line, you have lots of options to secure your wigs. Which options work best for you will really depend on what your conditions are going to be. If you're just running to a grocery store, I mean, running an errand, you're gonna be out and about, you're gonna be home shortly, conditions are controlled, a wig grip might work just fine. Stick a wig grip on. I've actually not put anything on when I run to the just to the grocery store. I've gotten comfortable enough that I'm not worried about my, about my wig coming off. So I will just throw a wig on with nothing if I know that I'm just going to be coming right back home. But you could put a wig grip on, put your wig on, get it situated, and it's super secure. I mean, it, it definitely is secure. It's just a lot tighter on me I I don't like tightness on my head and because I have a smaller head I'm not used to wigs being tight on me typically and so this is too tight for me I can just feel that wig grip sque squeezing me to you you might feel like that security you want that feeling because it, it reminds you your wig is secure I'd rather not have that feeling but that could be an option for you so you could do a wig grip you could do it stays you could do got to be you could do lace tape there's so many options and it might be worth it for you to experiment with them and have more than one option available to you so let me know what you think uh, have you tried these things how do they work for you have you tried something else that I didn't talk about put that in the comments let's help each other out here because I'm only one person and I haven't tried everything and I don't have experience with everything so let's see what other people have to say but I'm gonna tell you right now got to be is really really good this spray at least and so if you haven't tried it yet I think it's worth trying um, definitely if you like it stays but you don't like the fact that it loosens so much when you're sweaty got to be will work I really believe it will it worked for me multiple times all right guys thanks for watching and again if you have ideas for videos, if you have questions for me, let me know because I, I love to do these kind of videos that are helpful. I like to do reviews too, of course, but these are also really, really great because I know that they help a lot of people. So talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.